to the tail end of this phenomena. What we see is a human form floating in the sky above, behind some trees. In the video, you can hear someone ask, is that Jesus? Is that Jesus Christ? Please. Those who witnessed this creepy event believe it's Jesus coming down to earth. That's where we came in last time. What, did you see someone, Dan? Hey, we're cool. We're just taking pictures. Did you see somebody walk by here? Ah! Oh, this is fucking weird. I was watching weird shit on YouTube and I came across this video. And this guy's basically in the forest trying to find like a mythical creature. Dude, check this shit out. Oh shit, I hit the V button. Okay. Look at this Where ugly motherfucker. Fan? But then look right here, watch. This is fucking weird. Oh, I'm sorry about that. He was, he was doing you. Oh, there he is. Okay. It's. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Creepy historical photos that will haunt your nightmares, part 4. In the 1970s, a group believed that an alien spacecraft was coming to Earth in 1997. 36 members took their own life, believing that death was the only way that they could board the alien spaceship. The even more creepy website that the group used remains up to this day. This is serial killer Joe Methane. He would slay his victims and then strip their flesh. He would then mix it with pork and then sell it on the side of the road. This surveillance image shows a masked man driving the car of missing woman Kajavia Globe and using her card at a drive through ATM. He was proven to be her ex-boyfriend who killed her and shoved her body in a trash container. Dean Coral, nicknamed the Candyman because he gave young boys sweets from his family business, murdered, raped, and tortured over 28 young males. This photo was discovered showing a terrified young boy bent over on the ground with handcuffs on inside the Candyman's home. The photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? Not exactly. But you have nothing to worry about because it absolutely is. This photo was taken of a bunch of wax models that were removed from a museum after a fire started. The most disturbing thing that could come from this photo is the fact that the museum which they were taken out of was no longer standing after the fire was put out. Morbid Things, Part 53 in 1518, about 400 people came down with the Dancing Plague and started dancing non-stop for days on end. This lasted for about a month, and by the end of it, several people had collapsed, and some people had even died of exhaustion, heart attacks, and strokes. Here's some of the scariest things that have been found by YouTubers. A YouTuber named Lewis Clark and his friends find an abandoned train and decide to document it on film. Most of the train cars are empty, but what they find in the caboose is nothing short of bone chilling. They find a few sheets that seem to be stained with blood, covering something shaped like a body. <laughs> what the f- What is that? Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh. They don't stick around to find out what's under the sheets, as the team runs away from the scene, jumping over a second sheet in the process. Due to TikTok's guidelines, the image you see now will be a blurred version of the original video, but you can find the uncensored video on YouTube. The photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? Not really. On July 20th, 2012, James Holmes entered a packed showing of The Dark Knight Rises. He entered through an exit door of a theater and began firing upon the crowd, killing 12 people and injuring 70 others. Upon being arrested, he had told the officers that he rigged his apartment with explosives. Upon carefully entering the apartment, the officers had found that he had 30 homemade grenades and 10 gallons of gasoline spread around the apartment. Here's why you should never deliver a pizza at midnight. A pizza delivery man was driving late at night to drop off four pizzas at a faraway house. When he arrived, there were no cars parked anywhere and there were no lights on. 
He called his boss to see if he had the right address, and he told him to just knock on the door anyway. He waited for a few minutes and was about to turn around, but then he turned to his left and saw someone staring directly at him through the window. He dropped the pizzas and ran back to his car to drive away. As he was driving, he heard a screeching noise coming from his car, and then it came to a complete stop. All four of his tires had been slashed, so he called the police and they told him to stay in the car with his doors locked. He scanned his windows and then he looked up at his rearview mirror and saw something flash. He turned around and this is what he saw. A creepy woman in the dark staring directly at him, with her eyes wide open and a broken smile slowly growing across her face. Here's some of the darkest nursery rhyme origin stories. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill is by far one of the most popular nursery rhymes that all kids know. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and lost his crown and Jill came tumbling after. The rumored origins behind this fun jingle actually refers to King Louis XVI and his wife Marie Antoinette. They were convicted of treason in the French Revolution and were beheaded for their crimes. Jack losing his crown may be a reference to King Louis losing his throne and his head. And his wife's head came tumbling after. Here are scary and mind-blowing videos that no one can explain. This young girl claims that her house is often visited by an unknown entity. However, in this video she catches a glimpse of something very creepy. She first hears a mysterious sound coming from downstairs. Her dog also looks as though there's something there. Here we go. A shadow at the bottom of the stairs can be seen. It's very hard to tell, but you can see it move. On a bright sunny day in Paris, France, a person walking down the street noticed a very strange thing. In the middle of the street, some rain was pouring down in a localized area. However, no one knows where the rain was coming from as there are no stormy clouds in the sky. This video of a man dancing went completely viral on TikTok. However, it wasn't because of his skills, but something in the background was lurking. Although he was home alone, something very strange pops up at the top of the stairs. It's hard to tell, but no one knows what it is. Be sure to follow me on Instagram! This little girl was found adrift at sea, and decades later, she revealed the horrifying truth. You're not gonna eat a part two. So basically, in 1961, a girl named Terry Joe and her family went on a yacht trip in the Bahamas. Their captain was a family friend named Juliana Harvey, who brought his wife along on the trip. On the fourth day of the trip, Terry woke up to her brother screaming above deck. While she was asleep, the captain murdered his wife for life insurance money, but he was caught in the act by Terry's dad. The captain, knowing he'd been caught, decided to destroy the evidence by killing Terry's parents and two siblings before she came up to the deck. For some reason, the captain decided not to give Terry the same fate. However, he did purposely sink the ship to hide the other bodies. The captain then got onto the only lifeboat on the ship and then threw her onto a small raft attached to it. Terry, not wanting the captain to change his mind about her, decided to detach the raft from the boat. The captain got back to shore and told authorities that there'd been a tragic accident. But, three days later, Terry was found drifting on a raft in the middle of the ocean and then told them what really happened. And now, you're not gonna need a part two. This is a terrifying true haunting that will actually keep you up at night. When you hear about a haunted doll, you expect it to look like this porcelain psychopath. Not so much this one, but Elsa, Disney's Frozen doll, actually made the headlines in Houston in 2013 for being one of the most haunted dolls ever. Let me go, let me go. This thing started singing on its own between English and Spanish with nobody interfering with it. This thing had the same batteries for six years, and even when they turned it off, it would just start talking on its own and saying random shit. I'm not sure why it took six years to throw this thing away after talking on its own, but they finally did, and then this happened. They found this thing on their bench in their living room two weeks after throwing this thing away. Then they double bagged it, threw it at the bottom of the trash. They were gone for a little while, came back, and it was in their backyard sitting there. They actually mailed this to a family friend in Minnesota. Now they have a creepy haunted doll. Throw me a follow, quick, quick. In the 1940s in Soviet Russia, five war prisoners were put into a chamber with a gas that kept them awake for 30 days. The first few days were pretty normal. They were talking and whispering, but slowly over the next few days, it got more dark and more sinister. On the ninth day, one of the prisoners started screaming and he did not stop until he tore his vocal cords. When the second prisoner started screaming, the other prisoners blocked the windows so the researchers could not see inside. On day 15, the researchers shut off the gas and went inside. What they saw was horrifying. 
Prisoners had cut out their own organs and were brain dead from time to time, but somehow still alive. They begged and screamed for the gas to be turned back on. It got so bad that they killed one of the researchers. They were finally locked back into the chamber, but one of the researchers locked himself in with them. By this time, only one prisoner was alive, so the researcher asked what he was. And the prisoner responded, I'm the evil part of the mind, only kept inside by sleeping.